What's up guys, back in today with another reaction on the channel and today I'll be reacting to the Mob Psycho Season 3 opening. Uh, so excited for this. Quite unfortunate the circumstances of which I'm watching under. Um, the opening did get leaked I think from an event so um, I think Warner Brothers just kind of decided to put out the opening so I'm excited for it but again a little bit disappointed that some of the fans kind of recording the stuff and uh, the leaks for example have become quite a bit uh, ingrained in our culture nowadays but again very very excited for this. I'm literally here as it's on what? 100 yeah 200 views so very very early um i've, I've just rewatched the series as well funny enough just watched the first and second season had no idea the uh, the first opening had a full version of the song um so listen to the second chorus and especially the kind of drop in that song was absolutely nuts but listen to that uh, kind of non-stop ever since i did realize that there was a full version of the opening but um I'm most excited, I think, to see um, to see the visuals. The visuals in these openings are crazy. Uh, again, love the song, so I think it's just going to be a banger all round. If it does, uh, if it is by the same people as the first two, uh, let me know what you guys thought about this one though down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy this video, and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with any of my reactions. I'll be reacting to Mob Psycho uh, season three as soon as it does release uh, in a couple months, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into this one, guys. We're actually just going to turn it up. A lot. Okay, and now we're ready to go. Couple of new phases, I'm pretty sure, right here. Couple of new phases. Couple old ones as well. Yeah, I refreshed myself on the series after rewatching it. Because the trailer reaction, I fuck it, I forgot half the stuff. Oh wow, this one's gone for a lot more of a serious tone, it seems. Again, I love this fucking whoever sings this, man. She's got a hell of a voice. This one doesn't seem as fun. It seems, again, a bit more serious. eyes man lots of hands as well although I don't know if you can really take too much from the you probably can <laughs> the visuals are always just nuts though aren't they but fucking hell this is just like a compilation of everything thus far which is a little scary Oh my god, that's sick. That's a sick way to end that out. Little mob growing up with Reagan. Um, wow, again, this just feels like, a, again, a bit of a compilation of everything we've seen until this point, doesn't it? Again, a few new faces here and there. I'm going to go through it again. I think I'm going to watch it one more time and then maybe have a pause through because that song was sick, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, it almost felt like a bit of a compilation of everything we've seen up until this point um and like i mentioned the song feels and the visuals feel a lot more serious even though they are fun and playful again um they do seem a lot more serious in their nature rather than having kind of random fruit and vegetables and such pop up on the screen um although those fruit and vegetables randomly don't actually seem too random now we're in this uh, kind of big broccoli kind of thing that happened at the end of season two um but yeah it just feels uh, again just a uh, very serious kind of scary maybe it may makes me feel like we're maybe reaching the end of this show But there's definitely a big kind of play on changing characters' features, isn't there? And expressions. Yeah, just gonna what? Oh, that, that's a cool little uh, image of uh, the green guy. I can't remember his name. In kind of negative lighting. Like, another banging song. But yeah, gonna watch it once through like this again, and then gonna pause through some of the scenes. Some creepy eyes in there, isn't there? Fucking hell.
Uh-oh. Yeah, definitely gonna have to listen to the full version of this. I love this. Uh, I love this singer's voice. It's so so powerful, isn't it? It's crazy as well because you think this type of voice would be working on like orchestral work or or kind of opera singing almost. <laughs> funny, funny enough, but no, she's working on Mob Psycho doing some, one of the craziest shows you've seen. Um, yeah, again, there's, I noticed a few more things that time, but I just wanted to listen to the song again to be honest with you. Um, yeah, we'll have a little look through now. Yeah, a lot to take from this. Uh, uh, a fair few characters right at the start here. I'm not sure if they're just kind of random faces, um, or if they're like a play. Because this this kind of looks like uh, the guy from Salt High School, um, whose name I can't remember. But a couple of these actually look like characters we've seen before. See, this this obviously has the same hair as that Esper girl, but it's a uh, it's a it's a dude. <laughs> so um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty playful there. So I only know the green guy by his Japanese name. So I think it's like Dai, Dai Goro or something. Um, I'm not, I think I might actually be getting that wrong. Uh, but yeah, I can't remember his name nevertheless. This this is cool, isn't it? There he is in the uh, in the electric, in the lightning. That's a pretty scenic shot right there as well, isn't it? Who is that? I can't tell. Is that oh? Is that the um? Is that the bot? Uh, that's the boss from season two's son, perhaps. Not a hundred percent sure. Obviously, that was left at the end of uh, end of season two, wasn't it? This um, this giant broccoli, which I forgot a while ago. Again, I'm very glad I rewatched it because I, I I first watched it ages ago. I think it was, might have been close to when it was airing. I love this style though, right there. It's almost like paint, it's almost like paint artwork. A little bit like the um, Gintama opening, but it, it's actually quite an effective use of this uh, this kind of bad animation, isn't it? It kind of feels like it's all kind of dripping down. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> Not sure I'll be able to pause. So yeah, there's the kid I was talking about. Maybe that's the guy we uh, we see by that railing. I don't think I'll be able to catch all that unless I go 0.25 speed. Yes, I can. Nice. Oh, I'll, I'll pause right on it anyway. This one's mob. That one's the one we just saw. What's this one then? Reagan looking a little bit creepy. What is this on the left here? I've got no idea. A hole. Someone's eyes. Yeah, that third one there is a little bit um unknown. Got the wig back on. There's a few interesting ones here, isn't there? There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of these in this uh, this segment here. A lot of the circular things changing again. We've got go 0.25 speed, and I think I'll mute it just so um, you guys that have 0.25 version of this playing. Yeah. So food, basketball. There, there's one that I don't really know what's going on. Seems like what's this one? Looks like something's gone through a building, just absolutely shot through it. Maybe this is like a karaoke bar, and whatever whatever shot through this building is kind of interrupted to their karaoke or something. But it's a bit of an ominous sign. Again, we're seeing a lot of sign we saw a, a minute ago as well. Um, probably five seconds before this, something kind of dropped down and created a huge explosion, didn't we? I don't think there's going to be any lack of action this season. And there, right afterwards as well, is the, the same hole in the daylight from the other side, perhaps? Or maybe that, no, 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 actually, maybe not. Maybe this actually seems like it's from a house or um, a kind of work establishment, actually. And a lot of holes, <laughs> a lot of broken, broken buildings. 
Ah, uh, this one as well. It's the a car getting flown towards the moon. Very quick that one, isn't it? Doesn't want to show this one for long. Interesting. We're going to end up on the moon this season. I'm not sure what this is. Is that maybe a a, a Japanese a Japanese <laughs> a Japanese coin, perhaps? That as well, big old uh, ah. Huh. That's a stamp. Okay. That's what you'd usually put on a letter, right? An insignia. This one is interesting as well, isn't it? A big ball of rubbish. I'm not sure what that effect is over it. Oh, I didn't spot this one. Oh shit! What on earth? I don't recognize any of these hands. Not one of them. This is an interesting hand. So is, so is this. <laughs> I think that's probably not the actual hand. Ah. I think we're going to get introduced to quite a few more espers this season from the looks of from the looks of this scene right here. An eyeball. Oh, it's looking at mob. There's an amazing amount of details in such a short period of time, isn't there? Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, someone's looking upon prob probably near where Mob lives, it looks like. He's got a really hairy eye. Strange. And uh, there, there is another eye looking at Mob, but this eye doesn't look human, does it? It kind of looks like a human face, just from this kind of outline at the side here, but that eyeball doesn't look human. Maybe this is a kind of uh, berserk esper or something. The hand animation's a little bit dodgy. <laughs> Didn't think we'd be inspecting the scenes that much, I guess. Um, yeah, this uh, hand's a little bit dodgy, but again, obviously, this is just a split second. Crazy. They put this much detail in these drawings just for them to be on here for 0.25 seconds. There's a drink, which I doubt means much, but I imagine this one means a lot. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, it could go with the trailer stuff because uh, again, when I reacted to the trailer, I wasn't really um, that up to date with the series. As I said, I I watched it a couple of years ago. Um, this could lead into that kind of mob kind of religion that's growing, perhaps. And with those hands we saw earlier, maybe there other espers kind of collecting under the um, the mob religion. And maybe the mob religion's getting a little bit out of hand with mob not being a part of their religion. Um, maybe they're at, they're actually looking for world domination from what it might seem like here. Um, what I find interesting is, which probably does signify something, is that half of this world is pink, which maybe symbolises the espers. And then there's a little bit of green here, which I don't know might, might symbolise the bad espers or something. And obviously this plain bit. Um, but I could just be kind of clutching at straws there. I imagine there probably is some kind of reason why that is coloured this way though. But yeah, look at all these uh, all these guys bowing down. Again, can only imagine they're bowing down to the uh, the mob religion, which is growing. We saw it growing a lot towards the end of season two, didn't we, sir? Wouldn't surprise me at all. I think I might just watch the rest of it in point two five to be honest. Again, there's a fuckload of details. Ekubo, that's the one. Ekubo, that's his name. I, I finally remembered. I actually think that's, that's about it, isn't it? We're gonna go back and play it. <laughs> I love that pose from my right there. Again, just it's, it's getting a real serious vibe. From the first two, I really had just this, such a playful vibe. There was serious stuff happening in season one and season two. Oh shit! Is that is that the new guy, Tero Terorizawa? Could could very well be. Um, but yeah, I just get again just much more of a serious vibe from this one. I think the events might might be a little bit more maybe hard hitting. But again, we had some really serious episodes and such in the uh, seasons beforehand. Um, so with this the top uh, okay yeah so the top half is mob and the bottom half is mob as well which i'm guessing means this is maybe inside his head 
right here with this, uh, all this craziness that's happening but these are uh, these looks like really sharp teeth don't they so uh, maybe this is just kind of signifying he's got a sharp brain who knows a lot's going on in there but all these characters are going on within his head Oh, now there's a lot going on in this scene as well <laughs> there's a lot going on in this scene Ekubo again outlined in, in some rather strange things a load of bones pretty sure pretty sure these are bones and dogs some, some crazed hands the, uh, the athletic squad a load of characters here at the bottom which I think they zoom in on in a second um, there's the uh, there's the logo for the mob fucking the mob religion isn't it I'm pretty yeah there's another one here I'm pretty sure that's the logo for the mob religion just a, a very basic photo of mob's face um, not too much other than that is there oh actually oh, I didn't catch that the arrows are actually the things with mob's face and they're going inwards Why is it giving us a fucking zoom, <laughs> zoom in a Becca boat like this? <laughs> Jesus, man. This opening's been crazy, hasn't it? The amount of detail in this. I've never actually looked over the opening one or two like this, so I imagine there's plenty more I could find in those as well. See, this is why I mute it. Oh, no, I missed it again. Here we go. That is an awesome shot, isn't it? Is there anyone I don't recognise here? Oh, is that the girl? The exorcism girl. I was going to say, I didn't recognise her, but I think that's the exorcism girl. Square heads. Um, there's one character here. Do you see this guy? Is that maybe that vengeful spirit guy um, who, who was possessing her? Who we also see later in season two? Is that maybe him? That would quite suit him. Or maybe it's just a random, because there's a couple here as well, really small characters. There's also one here that you can't really make out that well behind this girl. No idea who that is. Um, but yeah, other than that, we know everyone here. Nice to see these guys kicking about still. Although, again, they weren't too much help in season two. Oh no, there he is. What am I talking? Why is he the biggest one? <laughs> Um, what am I talking about? Sorry, yeah, so I mean they do look reasonably similar actually, don't they? Um, they've got a reasonably similar kind of downward face looking thing going on But yeah, there, there's the guy I was talking about but Yeah, it looks like he's going to be quite a big part of this upcoming season as again, he's got actually The one two three. He's got the fourth or fifth biggest actual design in this. It's uh, quite interesting, isn't it? One and only one. And this is just a, uh, a recollection of scenes. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, hopefully you enjoyed a, a kind of deeper look through that. Again, there's uh, so many details, isn't it? During that kind of 40, 45 to 50 second period with all those kind of circular objects um, kind of changing, the amount of detail in there is nuts. And um, I imagine for anyone that's read the manga, there's probably quite a lot you can uh, kind of see um, what they kind of adapt from the manga in that um as, as someone who's not read the manga and don't know doesn't know the upcoming source material um there's only so much i can i can kind of theorize and such isn't there um but fucking hell again a lot of details i imagine you can find just as much in season one and season two's opening uh, but again i haven't done it for those two just because I wasn't on YouTube at the time, but um, yeah, absolutely love this. Again, another awesome song. Uh, I'm not sure it's my favourite song of the three. Uh, we'll have to listen to it a few more times, and I'll definitely have to listen to the full version. Uh, like I said, the, fir uh, the full version of the first openings are absolutely nuts, so I uh, can't wait to listen to that, but again, beautiful visuals. Make sure you let me know what you guys thought of this open though down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy this video, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with my reactions. As I did mention in the intro, I'll be reacting to the first episode as soon as it does release in October, I'm pretty sure, so hopefully you guys can join me then. And have a good rest of your day, guys.